We were given a ton of official Smiling Critters content that even connects to a Smiling Critters project revealed to be coming soon. For starters, it turns out the creators behind the Smiling Critters in the first place released new art based off of new Smiling Critter characters outside of the originals from the VHS video that we've never actually seen before. New character art of some of our more original Critter characters that were first made by multiple fans of the series before being remade by the same artist who created the actual Smiling Critters and all of the behind the scenes art. The creator of the Smiling Critters just drew a doodle of my character, to which we're finally able to see the art itself, which actually shows off four total new character concepts that the official artist decided to show us to be important in some way. Basically what we should be paying closer attention to. And the new post itself read, I've been seeing some fun Smiling Critters AU stuff around lately and I wanted to draw some of them linking the creators of the actual AUs below, showing us, for starters, a new more grown up version of Dog Day made by the creator wearing clothes, showing a sort of change from how he was last left off from the original VHS video for chapter 3, as well as some sort of toxic waste version of Kick and Chicken, included with special tubes and all, that was said to be part of a separate group called the Smiling Psychopaths, rather than the Smiling Critters, meaning these new versions were probably intended to be evil in some way. And we were also given the most interesting characters of all drawn by the official artist that specifically showed us a happier version of Dog Day's character, along with a new critter meant to be his opposite in some way. These new critters remade by the original Smiling Critters creator were also part of a new group that was known as the Frowning Critters. Basically, a new sad Dog Day to go along with the happier one. But it turns out the Smiling Critters also revealed a special behind the scenes look into the specific Smiling Critters that we never actually got to see in their recently released game. New secret designs that went into the process of making the game with the Critters in the first place. The plush versions from chapter 3 were the models shown to have new versions that have never before been seen by the public that were all grouped together by some of the original developers who made Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 in the first place. Along with the behind the scenes look we're given at the Smiling Critters themselves, the creator made an official statement telling us, I was the one who modeled and textured all of the Smiling Critters modular pieces. Final texture adjustments like Dog Day's eye and belly marks were made by James Pelter, which all went with the dozens and dozens of designs that went into the game's code shown in this official image that hasn't been completely shown in the game itself. To explain all of these new models that we're actually looking at here, it turns out the developers had the idea to combine certain features and elements of each of the Smiling Critters to give us new combinations and versions of the characters that included a purple Bubba Bubba Fint, a blue Dog Day, a pink Catnap, basically a whole inside look onto all of the textures of the critters. He ended up being combined in this strange way behind the scenes in order to make it easier to code all of the critters into the actual game. But the result ended up showing us something new that we've never seen before. But as for the most important Smiling Critters art of all, it turns out we were also clued into the potential for an entirely new Smiling Critters project meant to be released in the future. But which kind of project would we be expecting? Well, it turns out we were first given rumors about the Smiling Critters being involved in some way in the future based on what the Poppy Playtime CEO ended up recently revealing to us. He put out an important statement in the official Poppy Playtime Discord that told us for starters to be expecting new content for Chapter 3, but also to be looking out for new graphic novels and regular novels that are on the way as well. But what does this even have to do with the Smiling Critters? Well, it turns out one of the official artists who made the Smiling Critters in the first place gave us a bit of a sneak peek into what we could expect to see with the characters next that just so happened to connect perfectly with this announcement we were given from the CEO of the company. Basically, a fan of the Critters asked him about some of the art involved in the behind the scenes for the VHS video we were given way back in November, and the artist responded by telling us, oh, there is a lot more of these, referring to all of the official Smiling Critters art, 
Mob Entertainment held on to loads more for some later use. I'm not sure what for so far. Maybe an art book at some point in the future, who knows? Specifically, bringing up the idea of some sort of official book being created by Mob Entertainment to show off something new with the Smiling Critters in some way. But again, how would we know that this would include the Smiling Critters in the first place? Well, based on what we know, we finally have all the answers about what we should be expecting for the new project itself. All the actual details. In terms of the other earlier Poppy Playtime novels and books created before this new project, it turns out a bit of a theme pops up to tell us what we should be expecting next. Specifically, that the Smiling Critters are very likely to be making a comeback in some way after all. The main two official books that popped up as important here were the Poppy Playtime manga and the logbook that we're also expecting to be released soon. We were able to pick up on the fact that because these are some of the very first book related projects released by Mom Entertainment in the first place, it's likely that they were meant to be focused on all of the events we saw unfold in chapter 1. Meaning down the line is when we'd finally see the involvement of content from chapter 3 that would obviously include the Smiling Critters. We know the company behind the Smiling Critters have released multiple later copies and versions of artwork for the first show, but also that some of this artwork was saved for some strange unknown reason. So as for what we'd actually be expecting to see in this new book, the most popular idea circulating around the internet happens to be a completely separate story featuring all of the critters that shows us new adventures and problems that they'd all be experiencing in their village-like area we were shown by Mob Entertainment in the first place. And again, based on what we were told from the artist, it makes the most sense that all of this unused artwork would end up being reused in the future to all come together into this sort of book. But it turns out a new show is also something we were just given news about that actually includes early leaks into what this next episode would also be meant to look like. Basically where the critters would be and what they'd even be doing in this next episode. We're told officially that the Smiling Critters creators who made the first VHS show said they would love to work on another project in the future, and it came out early that, apparently, someone also stated that they saw the Poppy Playtime company looking for voice actors to go along with the next project, which also came with a whole new list of episode details that were said to be included in this next show early that no one had actually seen before. But what would this next show even be about? Well, based on everything that was actually released behind the scenes, I'm actually able to put this full story together for you early in this video right here. So, for everything we know about this potential episode, make sure to check it out.